Hey guys, sorry about the lighting, I know it's kind of dim. Um, I thought I would do a violin review with you guys today, and I just want to say right now that I only had my first lesson yesterday, and it's a $65 violin I got on Amazon, so obviously it's not the best quality. And I don't know very much about violins, so I think I might, once I know more stuff about violins and more about how to play it, then I might do a follow-up review on it. But it's a Crescent full-size student violin, and, it, and it's black. So let's get into the review. So the case, not going to be able to see that. I'll do a close-up on that. Case just looks like this. Pretty standard. It has like backpack straps on it. You're not gonna be able to see that. It comes with a front pocket right here. And just open it up. Sometimes the zipper gets caught, which is kind of annoying. And it didn't come with a neck rest, and I know you don't absolutely have to have one. So my teacher told me to just get like a cloth or something to put on my shoulder. So, like when I have it, the violin will stay and won't be such an uncomfort to me. But she said to get that, and it's just an old dish cloth that's clean. And what I also have, this might be a little bit weird. This is something that I just already had. It's just like a nail kit and it comes with like just comes with standard stuff. And the nail file is what I use to kinda get the hard surface off of the rosin so I could rosin my bow. And then the violin actually came with a tuner and it's um Joe Yo something like that. JMT 555B metronome tuner tone generator 3-in-1 with a backlight and it can be used for chromatic, guitar, bass, violin, and ukulele. And it just looks like that. The package. That's what the back looks like. The actual tuner itself I say is pretty good. I haven't really have trouble had troubles with it yet and of course this is something on my own I just keep a pencil in the front pocket and what I really like about this case is it comes with like over the zipper a velcro thing just to help reinforce that it's shut and now I'll just show you the actual violin bow the rosin that came with it, I I only used this rosin so I can't really compare it, but it doesn't seem that good to me, so I might get different higher quality rosin, but what comes on top is this is just over the violin to help keep like the bow from hitting it and just I think to just basically protect the violin bow but there's a little pouch on the side and that's where I keep the rosin the rosin looks like that it's kind of scratched up from where I used the file on it and then the th this is actually cool because it came with the tuner it's just a clip-on thing that you can put onto your violin so it picks up the vibrations you just clip it on. I clip it onto the, the chin rest or like the scroll. It's called a scroll, I think. See, I don't know what I'm talking about. And now the actual violin looks like this. Now, I had my first violin lesson yesterday morning and we were trying to tune it and I found out that the pegs, when tuning it, actually slip. So she said that's expected for a $65 violin. I say it's pretty good. 
because uh, I don't even know how to play yet. I don't know if it's, if it's something I want to keep on doing. And it's not that bad without the cloth. Like, it's not that uncomfortable. I don't see any damage to the bridge. So, that's good. There's no damage to the fingerboard or anything. So, I think it's a pretty good $65 violin. Not top quality at all. But, I'll put that back in there. And in the case, there's actually two spots to put the bow. So, I could have like a backup bow in case something happens to this one. Hope nothing does. I'll just unhook it from there. This is what it looks like. And I love that this part is called the frog. I don't know why. I just love it. This is how I hold it. Probably not that correct. I'm still trying to work on my bow hold. The case is actually pretty good quality, besides like the zipper getting caught sometimes. Pretty nice, it's durable. I want to know like what you guys think. Like, if I get better at it, if as I learn, if I can post videos to teach you, or wait until I can start playing really good, which will be a while from now. In the future, I think I might do videos on how to play it, or at least teach the very basics, since it's going to be a long time since I could probably teach it well. So, just let me know on that. If I can play a song halfway decent, I can upload the video of me doing that. And in the comments, let me know if you want me to do like an updated review in the future. Because I would love to do that. Because as I learn how to play the violin, I'm sure I'm going to have a lot more critique on it. And if I can find the link to this specific violin, I will put it in the description. If I don't, if I can't find it, or I forget somehow, then someone post it in the comments, please. That's all I think. I think I might film another video later, so if you see me wearing the same stuff. Don't freak out. Looks like here's the bow. Here's another place to put the bow. I did keep it there for a while when I first got it, which wasn't that long. But then I started moving it up here to the top. Now you just remove this cloth. And here's what the case looks like. Here's where I keep my rosin So I guess that's where I'm going to end it. Bye guys!